brought up in a conservative Jewish household by a single mother. Uh, she taught me to respect women. Um, you know, where I come from, whoa, where I come from, we'll do that again, a um, one night stand is something by Pottery Barn, a uh, facial, something you get a salon, and a uh, tossing salad is something that uh, grandma did before Shabbos dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I do not use it though, and uh, thank God for porn because uh, I owe it all to that. And I was actually watching porn with this chick the other night, but uh, it wasn't what you think. It wasn't like Cockadile Dundee or uh, Clockwork Orgy or anything like that. It was intellectual porn for girls. It was uh, American Idol. <laughs> but that's actually kind of normal. She's way into it. I mean, for a 14 year old, it's you know, too <laughs> no, no, She's actually turning 14. But American Idol is actually, you know, it's a really cool thing because you're sitting on the couch with this chick and you're making out. Now this chick, like I said, is really into it. She's like, we were making out, and she pushes me away right as the judges talk, because she really had to fucking hear what they had to say, which is pointless. So we're on the couch going at it, she pushes me away, all of a sudden you hear Randy go, dude, you fucking worked it out tonight, man. Like, you're back in the competition. My confidence was actually way up after that, because, you know, I thought he was talking to me. <laughs> so the next song comes on, and it's a slow song, and we start going at it again. But this time, I guess she's more into it, so, uh, you know, we go past Randy's comments, and then she pushes me away, because she has to hear what the co core has to say. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear, you know, tonight's not really your night, you know what I mean? Like, I love your spirit, you're a great guy, you know? And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, she's not really good for anybody's confidence. But if you really want your confidence level to get up, you got to make out during a Joey Fatone dance number on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Because you're going at it, you're done, all of a sudden you hear this gay Italian guy going at you. You are the best thing that ever happened to America. You're like a cuddly little teddy bear. Today you are a man. <laughs> you only get that if you watch the show. Um, actually, talking about teddy bears, why is it when people see two fat people together, they automatically assume that they should like be hooking up or something? Like, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, last time I checked, dude, I'm fat, I'm not blind. Like, you know, my dick still works even though I like cupcakes. But the only two people that should ever be together because of their uh, physical traits are the retarded. Like, Corky, this is Becky, she also has Down syndrome. When you step back, you're watching butt heads, they try to shake hands. But uh, Down syndrome actually isn't funny, they can't even do math tricks. But um, it's, it's, seriously, it's the year 2007, like, if black and white can date, and you know, fat and thin can also date too. But, uh, man. Tough crap. So, uh, so I'm sitting on, I don't know, the other day, I'm out flying back from Philly, and I'm sitting on the plane, and I got the window seat, and I'm in seat 13F. And uh, right next to me, there's a Muslim guy, where if you actually picture what a terrorist looked like, that, that was what it was. And he had a bracelet on him. It was metal, and it was engraved with, like, um, Arabic writing. And the whole plane ride, he's sitting there, hands clasped, and he's shaking uncontrollably. To the point where after an hour, I actually wanted to look at him and just be like, dude, are we cool? Because I don't know what you're about to do. So I figured I'd sabotage him. And while he was thinking of 40 camels and a virgin, I accidentally dropped some bacon on him. So I figured, like, OK, if he's going to do it now, he's just a dick. You know what I mean? But as I was thinking about it, like 20 minutes later, I was like, OK, you know what? Like, uh, you know, I'm scared that he's going to take down the plane. But he's really nervous, too, because he probably thinks I'm going to eat him. So, so yeah, so, you know. Just, that was my Muslim joke, my one Muslim joke. And, um, all right, so like I said, I'm seeing this girl, and she's actually really nice, really cool, and her name's uh, Susie Greenbaum, and I don't know if you guys know about last names, but Green is actually a Russian last name, and Baum is a German last name, but when you put them together, it actually has this new meaning, it actually means, fuck you, mom, she's Jewish. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, you know, I don't know, there's nice, there's only one or two girls here tonight, but some girls, I'm sure you've been with a fat guy because you wanted his wallet. And guys, I know you've been with a fat girl because, you know, you were drunk. But when two of us get together, when two of us get together, it's like a whole new, like, level all together, man. It's like, we actually made a sex tape, it's going to be on Adam Planet next week. And, uh, no, so she's like, you know, let's go into the bedroom, and I come in, dude, there's fucking cupcakes, ho-ho, skittles, anything you want. We start kissing, taking off her clothes. She's like, ooh, the surprise is almost here. And uh, open the door, there's a pizza man. It was all good. So we started having sex, and all of a sudden, you know, something I always uh, didn't think a Jewish girl would say to me, she goes, fuck me in the ass. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you've been to synagogue with me, come on. So she's like, no, 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 I want you to punish me. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, you've seen the side of my penis, right? It's not really going to hurt. 
She's like, no, 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 punish me. She's like, you know, I want you to make it hurt. So I cut up an orange juice card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. I'm David Feinberg, FatTourist.com. <laughs>